<laughs> Aloha. My name is Master Paul, and I am very, very honored and grateful to be connecting with you today live on Facebook live streaming. We're moving into the fourth week now, maybe a full month of doing live streaming. And it has been truly a, a good experience. It's given me an opportunity to connect with everyone in a more authentic way. And I truly appreciate that. I appreciate all of you that come on and share your, uh, your comments and your feedback. That all of these are deep, deeply and greatly appreciated. It has been an interesting uh, learning process as well. I wanted to thank all of you for going to my, um, my YouTube and commenting on my uh, videos. I appreciate that as well. <clears throat> so today, as we are waiting for all of those to come onto the live stream, as it takes about three or four minutes for everyone to come on, I will start by inviting in all of the holy beings. So if you are watching this for the first time, please connect. We place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. And then we, <clears throat> uh, which is the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand pointed towards heaven and then we connect heart to heart soul to soul right now i am in master shah's Tao healing center here in honolulu and it is uh, an extraordinary location on earth where some of the highest healing power is held so we are very blessed at this time to have this here it is something where without a doubt uh, let me uh, mute myself here. Something without a doubt uh, is a service to humanity in a very, very big way. So let us begin <coughs> by connecting with all of the holy beings. To the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu, the countless, countless blessings, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, calligraphies, and all the holy beings that are present. We love you, we honor you, we respect you, and I personally bow down to you. I am deeply honored and grateful for this opportunity to serve all those that come onto this uh, video live stream today and all those who uh, by watching this video at some point in the future. I ask that as appropriate, you connect everyone's heart to heart, soul to soul. Allow us to align to your highest teachings, your highest wisdoms, and offer any blessings as appropriate while we work through this uh, one hour streaming today. I'm very grateful. Dear my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and thank you for being present in my life. Thank you for honoring and blessing all those that join the live streaming here today. I ask uh, as appropriate that you borrow my mouth and speak out the truths and wisdoms that you bring to Mother Earth at this time, that I can be of greater service to humanity for all those that join not only this live stream, but for all those that watch this at a later time. I am deeply, deeply humbled, honored, and grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'd like to offer my greatest gratitude and welcome to Kristen, to Judas, uh, to Yvonne, and to whoever else has joined us that I cannot see at this time. Uh, the, the numbers will continue to grow until we get a, at least 20 people. Uh, but I'm grateful for all of you coming. Welcome, loveness. Great to see you. So I'll go ahead and begin talking about today's subject. Today's subject is on the subject of trust. And every day I decide what it is Aloha Bart, every day I decide what it is that I would like to discuss, that I would like to connect with you, what it is that the divine can offer as far as guidance, wisdom, insights, um, something that can bring a positive impact to our life. And uh, earlier today, I was working with um, some information related to one of my clients and trust was actually a large variable and I remember and I know that it's a large variable for all of us as I ponder this I says why is why is trust such a big um, blockage area for all of us and I certainly don't want to speak for all of us I will do a flow from from the divine as to what uh, uh, we can learn 
from trust and how to be more in a place of trust with the divine. But on a personal level, I want to share that <clears throat> my own observation has to do with the five senses. We each have, uh, you know, smell, touch, sight, sound, um, and hearing. Those are the five senses that most of us are familiar with. Welcome, Pat. And we, we um, judge and connect to all things in life using these five senses. If we are unable to um, validate, is a really good word, through those five senses, then there is a lack of trust. There's a couple of flaws with this process in the first place. One of the biggest flaws is that we are dependent upon five senses when there are quite a few more that are related to our inner soul-guided workings. We're, we're expecting that everything that we've learned is certainly enough to make a decision on trust and that everything we've learned must be accurate since we learned it and it's us and uh, we have not even given credit or merit or value to those five senses and our own intellect is what has created this um, this ego, this knowingness that my way or my, my thoughts are the thoughts by which I will view everything and by which I will decide to trust or not trust. And so it's basically a flawed uh, structure from the beginning. And the vast majority of humanity approaches the divine God, Jesus, Buddha, Mary with varying degrees of trust. Some, they're all in. No question about it, they just trust. Those are the most blessed ones. Those are the ones that will, even if they have difficult times, somehow they find their way through them because they just have that trust. And then there are those of us that I fall into this category where my mind is a bit too busy, where I want to validate, judge, critique. I want to uh, make sure I understand. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I spoke about how when I watched Master Shah do miracle healings, Pardon me, I just kicked the camera. We'll reset it here. When I ma watched Master Shah do miracle healing, I didn't trust. First of all, I didn't understand it because my mind was busy. How does this work? When I heard soul readings for the first time, I didn't trust. I didn't understand it. Welcome, Crystal. Thank you for joining. Thank you for com uh, commenting. Pat, great to have you here. Everybody, if you didn't hear me announce your name, I have, and I'm very grateful for that you're here. So the subject today is trust. And one of the, the key variables in trust is the ability to accept that there is something larger than us that is, has a plan and that is very much um, aware and somewhat in control of all things. And that's hard for a lot of us because, you know, we still have to do basic things. We have to get up, we have to shower, we have to shave, we have to brush our teeth. We have to do those basic things. We can't trust that those are going to happen automatically. So it's this mixed world in which we have to do physical, real-world things so that real-world results occur, so that we receive a paycheck, so that we can pay our bills and really move forward in the world. And then we have aspects of that real-world activity that we simply have to release to trust. And so it pr creates a, a great deal of um, anxiety. It creates fear. It creates worry. It creates just about every emotion that you can think of. Trust can create the emotion of love. Trust can create gratitude. Trust can create the emotion of appreciation and happiness. It can joy. It goes both directions because when we trust and it quote works out, then, oh, I'm so glad I trusted. You know, once again, the divine delivered. But it's when we're not trusting that we don't um, receive what it is we're wanting. And sometimes we do and then that brings our trust back, our trust level back up. So we vacillate in this entire range in trust. 
And I'm not sitting here telling you I have a solution. You know, I go through the same thing you guys do. I go through the same processes of trust, the same validation processes, the same building up in higher and higher levels of trust. It's, um, it's something that I'm here to share both my experiences and what I've learned from Dr. and Master Shah. Now, Dr. and Master Shah has offered blessings for karma clearing for trust multiple times at his retreats. And I'm going to do a flow in a little while as to what, breed, what is the breeding ground where a lack of trust occurs on a spiritual level. You know, because there's so, when we're aware of these things, uh, all those things where we're in, in a lack of trust create karma. And that inhibits us from making a choice of going forward. <clears throat> the Guanyin Retreat. Uh, everybody wants to go. I've been blessed to be one of those that um, signed up early enough and that I have the opportunity to go. I still am going through trust-related processes around you know, having enough financial security and safety to go enjoy myself and at the same time pay for my daily responsibilities. And so, why? Historically, it's always worked out. It has never not once worked out. Again and again and again, the divine has said, trust, I will deliver, you'll be okay. And 100% of the time, it's always worked out. But once again, I am in a position where I am obligated, if you will, to trust again. And so we as humans will receive this kind of experience through the entirety of our life, unless or until we can uh, uh, literally, you know, heal it. And so we're going to do flows today, and I'll do flows for you on your questions regarding this as well, around this specific subject, so that we can all learn and receive healing on a higher level. So I'm going to start with uh, trust information from God. I'm going to ask the Divine to give us a flow on... <coughs> Uh, whatever he decides, uh, he or she decides, um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay? Give me a moment. This is a message from the Divine. There will be some that will watch this video at a different time and they will question if this is a message from the Divine. Their trust will be questioned and that is the subject of this conversation. I have been asked by my son, my student, to communicate with you on this subject. I will offer a teaching. I suggest you take notes. When I created all things in life, all things have my intelligence, my awareness, my light, my knowingness. All things have my love, purity, and clarity of alignment to self. All things that I am truly are never, even for the blink of an eye, separate from me. They all, with the highest percentage of possibility, carry my characteristics. You all have these exact 
same characteristics. You and I, the Divine, your Creator, are one. Trust occurs when one stays in this knowingness that is innate not only in your DNA it is innate in the very vibration that you operate at life is about altering vibration that you return to my heart why have you strayed? It is simple. You have chosen to explore the possibilities that are endless in all of my creation. And in that exploration, you and I are having wonderful experiences. Many think that I forget them, especially when they are suffering. This is not the case. We are never separate and always in oneness. It is the separation, mindsets and attitudes. It is the fears and the emotions that are given power that create distance between the truth. Trust is a matter of realigning to truth. Truth was explained in my first few sentences. The realignment can and will occur with the opening of your centers. Not only your heart center, but all of your centers. Each and every aspect of the wisdom and teachings that have been brought to this planet through the one known as Dr. and Master Shah are for the soul, S-O-U-L, purpose of realigning all of my soul counterparts that make up me to realign back to me. Each teaching, each wisdom, each insight each practice, each blessing, every aspect of what has been brought, taught, and shared is for the purpose of bringing you back to me. I serve you unconditionally. I watch you. I speak with you. I bless you as you experience this returning process. Trust can happen in each moment and if it is not then you can shift your thinking and have it in that next moment trust occurs when you open your heart listen well align to what you hear feel and know and then experience more validation of what you know the return to my heart is a constant process that can be dramatically enhanced by communicating with me daily. My heart is your heart. My love is your love. My message is love. When you communicate with others, you are returning to my heart. When you share love with others, you are returning to my heart. When you give love to others, you are returning to my heart. When you speak of love to others, you are returning to my heart. Each of these actions create a enhancement of trust and realignment to me. I could speak for hours upon hours on this subject. For now, I wish to offer you this information. In a little while, you will receive more on what creates distrust and how to realign that. I am honored to offer this sharing through this student. Huh?
好，好 ，Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're so moved, please bow your head nine times to the divine for that beautiful message, that beautiful, loving, heartfelt message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you for all those that have joined. My eyes were closed. Sorry, I haven't uh, had a chance to acknowledge you. Um, so welcome, Monica. Thank you for joining. Uh, welcome, Gabrielle. Welcome, Anne Marie. Welcome, Kristen. And thank you all. So um, if you didn't get a chance to capture the entirety of that flow uh, that the divine offered through me, then I encourage you to watch this a little later. It was actually very beautiful. I received huge blessings um, uh, doing my best to stay in flow with what uh, the divine has to say. It helps being in the center as I'm sitting here doing this my, my crown was lighting up as if it felt like I was getting acupuncture on the top of my head <laughs> from the blessings so please comment and share if any of that message resonates with you today I am going to offer some soul readings regarding this specific subject uh, it can be about you and your particular blockage with the divine if you have a blockage of that nature or a particular blockage um, uh, for anything. It could be uh, trust in yourself. It could be trust in coming into relationships. There's a variety of ways uh, in which trust shows up in our lives. And I'll be happy to do some soul readings for you on that subject when I get a drink of water here. Ah, so we have um, an opportunity today to receive some additional guidance from the divine on what um, what are some of the main culprits. Typically, uh, in the teachings of Dr. Master Shah, uh, we know that spiritual debt is a big culprit for a lot of our lack of alignment. And for those that came in a little late, I spoke about <coughs> for me how. Everything's always worked out when I, for example, wanted to go to a retreat or wanted to do anything uh, that required an expense of time and money, uh, and yet I still had my responsibilities here, that every time I went, even though it felt uncomfortable in the physical realm, I always had uh, huge blessings and always came back and everything always worked out fine. And yet, even with this most recent example of going to the Guanyin retreat, I'm still uh, concerned about positioning myself to have the strength and safety in that. And so the question of trust comes up for all of us in different ways. So share how it comes up for you. We'll do some soul readings. <coughs> okay, so Yvonne says, I trust the divine. I just never know when the divine will grant my request and taught no attachment of any kind. What else can I do? Great question. I'm pretty sure other people know that one as well. Let's ask the divine. <clears throat> dear the soul of Yvonne, dear divine, when all of those uh, who are watching this, all those who watch us in the future, we release our trust to you, but things don't necessarily come in the time that we would like them to come in, in our own urgency. Can you please offer some guidance and insights to all those that are watching as to what we can do to maintain status quo uh, and trust and release attachment as appropriate? Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? <coughs> this question, this is the divine talking. This question is asked by many silently. They wonder, Dear God, they say, I have asked this of you and I know that you will deliver it. But why haven't I got it yet? Why is my child still sick? Why haven't I got that good job yet? And so forth. And I whisper in my children's ear, because, my child, you have not fully, truly allowed yourself to receive what it is you have requested. Instantly, I grant your request. Instantly, the soul world lines up 
every aspect of your request. Instantly, this occurs. However, in this experience that you are in, the mind, which is the machine of creation, the uh, contributor of the thought process that continues to bring forth the manifestation, goes through waffling, fear, doubt, changeability. It is those times when you say to me, I trust you, but why hasn't it come yet? Those kinds of thoughts all create uh, many reversals, M-I-N-I, -I, many reversals of what you have requested for coming. There are other variables which include negativity from other sources outside of you, negativity in your life that shifts the frequency of reception to what you have requested. And there is what is known as divine timing, which is a true statement. Your soul knows that some things you request are either not meant to happen or not meant to happen at the moment that you are thinking they should. And your soul and I are one. Your soul is the boss and sometimes it will not allow you to have something that you are desiring in the timing that you are desiring it. One of the greatest wisdom teachings I can share with you is make your request. Assume instantly that it is complete and in the allowance process add to that according to whatever is appropriate because truly you do not know if it is appropriate or not. It could be that in finding that potential mate, in finding that whatever you requested, that more trouble could come if it is not done in the right timing or if it is not meant to come. It is in this release and additional information, adopted information, that you can bring your heart to a place of softness, a place of alignment to me. And this will create the least resistance and the greatest potential for success with all that you bring forth in your thought processes. This is the explanation for all who watch this. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, Divine. That was a very poignant response. I appreciate that. <clears throat> so Monica says, Greatest guide to Master Paul, so much that I in your readings from the Divine goes deep into my heart to hear him and his words. And he's reminding us with so much love that he created us and is in us. Uh, greatest gratitude. Yes, I, I agree. It was so uh, such a pure message coming through me. I was <laughs> very blessed to be a the recipient of that message as it came through and always I am learning you know I go back through and watch my own videos to see you know if I'm serving you well to see um, where I can improve and also to listen to the messages that come through because I you know I retain uh, about half to three quarters of it but some of it's just uh, I just can't retain <clears throat> so then Monica says Master Paul Divine and my mission as appropriate thank you so I'm assuming this has to do with trust, Monica. Um, so let me offer uh, guidance on that. My dear Monica, this is the divine. You and every soul, when making a choice to honor yourself in your actions, in your business, in your life choices. When you truly honor yourself, then you are honoring me. Why? Because we are one. It is when you and my children 
of humanity do not honor themselves. In a way, it is a dishonoring of me because we are one. The message for you, the message for all, is to deeply honor ourselves. If we want to take a break, then that is honoring ourself. If we want to stay home and watch TV, then that is honoring ourself. If we know that by leaving the home and going out to do that responsibility, we will positively affect the outcome of generating income, for example, then that is also honoring ourself because we must be honorable in our responsibilities. Honoring self does not always mean selfishness. It means staying in alignment with what is true and what is right by your own compass. Follow your heart. If it feels right, then it very likely is. And it is highly unlikely that in following your heart, following your internal compass, and staying in alignment with me through trust, that you would ever be harmed in a way that would not be um, reversible or not for a reason. All things happen in alignment with divine timing and reason. So continue to prosper in the choices that you have. Continue to love in the ways that you have set forth and only change if you are not aligning to that which honors you. This is the divine. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful question, Monica. Thank you for that answer, divine. So Kristen says, Dear Master Paul, I'd be grateful to receive a reading and connection to trust for my spiritual journey. Okay. Welcome, Cynthia Marie. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, Renee. And welcome. Okay. So let me answer Kristen's question. <coughs> uh, for those that have joined, the questions are revolving around trust in whatever areas in their life they are bringing uh, blockages to you. And I will do readings on those. My dear Kristen, you are one of the luckiest souls. Because you are always talking to me, I am always with you. As I have said, I am in everyone. But presence is about intention and connection. My presence in your life is relatively consistent. You have spoken to me in your difficult times and in your blessed times with equal love and trust. I honor you for honoring me in this way. I know that there are a few times that you felt distant, but you did not really feed that dark thought as it came in. You simply acknowledged it and then boomerang back to what you know. You, my love, do not have trust in your spiritual journey problems. You must find a balance between the physical and the spiritual. It is a dance. And it is a dance that is unique to each one of humans. 
my message to you is be in the physical world as it requires with more joy and happiness. Know that the reflection of how you are reflects in heaven and that reflection comes back to you. So in moving through each moment with more joy and happiness, my alignment to you and your intentions and manifestations moving forward will create more of what it is you are wanting. You are always deeply loved and appreciated. This is the divine. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that uh, reached into your heart and touched you. Uh, Divine's message has some, some very deep uh, wisdom to share for all of us. I, I think there's probably each piece of information all of us can resonate with. <clears throat> okay, so Stephanie says, Grateful to join you, Master Paul. Please can you help me to understand what is going on with my car that I am financing and keep on having to pay a lot of money every month to have it worked on. Now haven't been able to drive it for a week and needs more work. I don't know how to trust. I live uh, 12 miles in the country with my son and take care of my grandfather. Anyway, feeling I need to trust more and will this transform? I do a lot of forgiveness practice and, and feel my plans of relocating are now on the back burner. Very, very heavy heart today. Yeah, certainly would be a difficult testing. Let's see if we can get any information for you, Stephanie. For my beloved Stephanie. You have a unique combination of divine attributes coming into this life. They include being a devout student of life in multiple lifetimes. One that has harnessed great wisdom insights and has applied those to manifest things. Now this many lifetimes has caused you to be rather efficient in this process. That juxtaposed against the time of that humanity is in, in which the veils between <coughs> the third dimension and the fourth dimension are becoming narrower. And the time for things to manifest becoming faster are both collectively working to serve against you. What I mean by that is your very thought of a car that is not working creates more of a car that is not working. Your very attention upon any of the current experiences that are not serving you at this time is creating more of it because of the specific time we are in and because of your previous skill set in manifesting. What can you do to assist yourself? You can make a full and complete shift. Make a storyboard. Be always in a state of joyful expectation. Anything that occurs that previously would be seen as negative, shift the frequency 
simply by saying, wow, I wonder what beautiful, joyful experience this will lead me to next. Because of the speed at which manifestation occurs for you, the vigilance required, the clarity required on the positive, and the necessity to turn all things negative into a positive is pertinent. With each new positive that occurs, look for all of them, even the little things like my son cleaned the counter, every possibility of a gratitude, embrace and expand so that that frequency overrides the negative ones. It is this circle that when put great emphasis upon will start creating more of what the gratitude and the joy and the clear thought processes will create. And then do more of it. You will find yourself, if you follow this guidance, in a better position in about two months from now. It will slowly move you from where you're at to the choice of being able to do that should you choose to move forward. Become clear, become focused on the positive and choose in every moment to be joy, to be grateful and to disallow any unpleasantness to stick by acknowledging it and turning it into something that will create joy and happiness in the future. This is my message to you at this time, my beloved one. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie, for that. And uh, Krista and I heard that that's also good guidance for you. Renee, I tend to experience some spiritual testing of late. Potentially, it is because of my lack of trust on my relationship with the divine that I continue to have challenges. I need some enlightenment on this. <coughs> okay, Renee, let's find out. I just need a little drink of water here. <coughs> How, my dear son, Rene, I am so grateful that you are observing this and have cleared your ego enough to ask this, especially in a public arena. This alone shows your progress. For you, my son, uniquely enough, you have chosen a life that causes you to test the highest levels of trusting. This happens when one purposely chooses to be very intelligent. Intelligence is not something that happens naturally. It is often a soul-based choice, mind intelligence. And when someone chooses this to serve humanity through nuclear fission or creation of products, ideas, devices, etc., these levels of intelligence are juxtaposed against the necessity to uh, logically examine everything. This creates a great deal of opposite pole in trust. So those that bridge that gap have the highest uh, rewards in heaven, so to speak, because they are able to move from one extreme to the next. It is a game, so to speak, that some souls choose because they like the opportunity to make that big of a gap close. You are one of those that has consciously 
chosen that risk. I say risk because some get lost in their spiritual journey. My encouragement to you is to recognize your soul's choice in this, to see it as a game of sorts, as a chance to constantly uh, bring about more trust by utilizing some of the wisdom shared earlier. This applies to everybody. And when those times come up where your busy mind wishes to analyze, just laugh at it a bit and be grateful for this opportunity you have purposely asked for to realign more to my heart and soul. Follow your practices, be more in joy and alignment, and you will immediately shift out of that and level up just that little bit more. I thank you so much for your service and your willingness to take such a huge opportunity to grow your soul in such a profound way. This is the divine. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, divine. <clears throat> such unique answers to such uh, beautiful souls. Kristen says, thank you, Master Paul. I'm having to share time with a seriously neglected husband uh, that is home now this week but I have one ear on you. <laughs> I love you, Kristen. Please, spend time with your seriously neglected husband. Take the thing out of your ear, spend time with him. This is recorded. It will be here later when he's asleep. <laughs> love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Always spend time with your family. You know, Master Shah has had to teach his divine channels that. He said, if you don't take care of your family, then they will not support you in your spiritual journey. You know, so make sure you take care of him. Okay, Yvonne says, totally agree, divine. Aligned with divine timing is the perfect answer for when we receive in the right time. I am practicing with my Yivan Shin, which is her original soul, to let it be the boss. Uh, and the mind doesn't know everything if the request is not coming at the right time. It might be a disaster to us. That's true. So thank you for the wisdom. You're very grateful. Thank you, Divine. Okay, Mailana. Welcome. Aloha, Master Paul. Wonderful wisdom. I learned very early that things would always turn out the way they were meant to be. When I tried to hurry things, they would not turn out. Yeah, that's true. And so to be patient. Great sharing. Welcome, Petra. I saw you pop in earlier. Um, but I was not in a moment where I could, could acknowledge you, so welcome. Um, so, dearest Master Paul, I need guidance if I should work with a special person, uh, GTR, in the future or not. I feel confusion about this, so I will ask for divine guidance through you. Thank you, if possible. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure why, Petra, but I'm getting a no. And I asked if it was a timing thing, and the answer was no, it's not a timing thing. So, um, but what I heard was, you know, if it's something that you immediately, immediately need an answer to, just to say no, uh, it might be that you have to... Uh, you have the responsibility you don't say the waiting time. I really don't know what it is at this point, but that's the message I got. So hopefully that assists you. So Judith says, Hi Master Paul, uh, please do a reading for me. <coughs> okay, Judith. So this will be on the subject of trust for you. Uh, this will be the last reading that I can offer uh, today, and then we'll complete and I'll offer a blessing. This is the Divine. My dear son, Judas, I love you. I am so honored that you honor me, my son, Jesus, my daughter, Mother Mary, so much. 
these beloved ones have come to humanity to serve all of you. Each of you have a purpose and intention. It is important to devote some of your time to staying in alignment with that original self. You, my son Judas, have a beautiful heart and a intention to serve. But you also carry confusion about the direction of what that would look like. My encouragement to you is to relax a bit more. Ask for people and wisdom to enter your life that will nudge you in the right directions. The wisdom that you have stumbled across with Master Shah will serve all humanity in a way that truly will not be discovered for at least a thousand years. Much like the item called the Bible has served many for thousands of years, this Master's teaching will also serve many for thousands of years. Those who heart and soul recognize these wisdom and teachings have the greatest propensity of keeping their soul journey in the least amount of difficulty. So I say to you, my son, trust that wisdom has come to you, that if you practice what is available to you, you will be able to serve the way your heart wants to, and to continue to have an open mind to the wisdom and teachings as any master of any belief system, any true master of any belief system, would say to always have an open mind, a non-judgmental mind. Maintain that and your soul journey will be, continue to be relaxed. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so thank you all. I will uh, complete reading this and then we'll offer a blessing. So Kristen said, I did have an interesting question coming to my mind today about the divine being seeing us. Um, so uh, I won't be able to answer that now, Kristen, but uh, maybe we can in the future. And then Pat said, for the beautiful reading, she's, she's so grateful. Um, Monica, oh, Master Paul, greatest die, we love you, die, die. She's such a beautiful heart, always so grateful. Thank you, you're welcome. Santa Marie, hello, Master Paul, so very hopeful to be there. I'm constantly worried about upholding my responsibilities of being a mother because of my physical disabilities. Okay, so Santa Marie, um, you should probably connect with me off to the side. Maybe we can, I can do a 10 minute uh, complimentary soul reading for you. It's one of the things I offer on my website. Um, but that sounds like something that may be more private. And then Kristen says, Thank you, dear Master Paul. Thank you, beloved Divine. Uh, Stephanie says, Tears of gratitude, countless bow downs. Yeah, that was a very poignant reading for you, Stephanie. So um, I hope that you're able to work with that information and uh, be really um, positively proactive in causing that shift and being very vigilant to maintain that. Okay. Uh, Margaret Chong joined, and Judas says, thank you for that reading. Renee says, thank you, Master Paul, for that insightful reading. Thank you, Divine, for the wisdom. Wonderful. I'm so happy. Today was so empowering. Always a blessing to receive this wisdom through the Divine for all of you. I always get such great insights <coughs> um, about this. And thank you, Meliana, for your, your comments as well. I thank you all for coming. Let me offer you all a blessing at this time. So make a request, preferably one around your trust concerns, <laughs> and then I will offer a blessing accordingly. Give me a moment while you make your request. And you would make it to the divine.
blessing begin. <coughs> you thank you let us thank beloved master Shah my spiritual teacher all layers of the divine Dada source the soul of master Shah's Tao healing center that we are in right now the countless saints saints animals temple souls the treasures in the calligraphy and in this center all the service they have offered here today we thank all the souls that have come that have offered their service wisdom guidance and insights we thank our beloved divine for their, his guidance wisdom and insights we thank all the souls that may have forgiven us today through this wisdom, this teachings, this practices, and this blessing. We offer our deepest forgiveness to all those souls who have harmed us, and we ask for forgiveness if we have harmed any souls in any lifetime. So I am grateful to all of you coming. As always, I make the request of you to please hit the share button at the end of this. Let other people know about this service, how we can serve them. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through my website. If you haven't already signed up for my email uh, on my website, then go there and you have a little sign up uh, button you can look for on the right hand column. And then I'll be doing video emails pretty shortly here. I'm getting all my ducks in a row, almost there. So I thank you all for coming. I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Tell your other friends about this. Bring them in. Let us bring these numbers up to 100. All right, talk to you then. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs>